Good morning. It's another beautiful morning. Stayed out quite late yesterday meeting with other people from Tech Opener and now I'm headed back to the airport, catch my flight. We're going to a conference in Souk today. It's called the Crypto Valley Conference. So I made it to the airport with plenty of time. We're now walking over to the aircraft, much smaller than what we flew here yesterday. Let's go back to Zurich. All right, so I stopped filming at the conference, but Dom and I made it to Zouk, went to the Crypto Valley Conference, which was uh, interesting, good speakers, also interesting startups that presented themselves on stage. But then of course, the number one thing about conferences is the people you can meet there and mingle. Now I'm just about to get home to Elena's place and I'm just looking forward to get some sleep and relax and then start afresh tomorrow to a new day. So yesterday we traveled back from Berlin to go to Zug for the Crypto Valley Conference. Dom spoke about the affinity at the Crypto Valley Conference. I was in a jury for upcoming startups. We gave away a prize for, I think it was an early stage and a later stage startup, which was interesting, couldn't feel much. Met lots and lots of people, also met for the first time with Jan Kamenisch, who is one of our newest team members at Dfinity. Together with him, we're opening the Zurich office in a few months, so that's uh, exciting news. And I think going to a conference is all about people and talking to them. It's not so much about keynote speeches. While they are sometimes interesting, I constantly get the most value from meeting with the people that I see at conferences. And so yesterday, I've also connected with Nikolas Stoyanov, who is team member and founding member of Eternity. Eternity has probably a similar vision and mission to Dfinity. They're building a decentralized blockchain infrastructure which will allow you to execute your decentralized apps. But I don't want to talk about Eternity, we'll save that for another occasion. But one thing I do want to talk about is something that he's shown me on uh, his phone which makes so much sense um, that I am amazed why it has not always been there. When it came to the point where we wanted to exchange contacts, he just showed me his phone and it looked somewhat like this. So he showed me his phone and he had a QR code on his lock screen. I don't know exactly when, I think it was iOS 11 or iOS 10, when Apple built in a QR reader into the Apple camera. If you open a camera, and you point it at a QR code, it will automatically load that QR code. And so what this does is it just downloads your contact card, which is genius, right? Because exchanging contacts, like having business cards just doesn't feel right anymore in the current day and age. And at the same time, there's never been a technological solution that really worked. Of course, you could create a new contact and enter your phone number and everything, but it takes too much time. And it's kind of awkward to grab someone else's phone. At the same time, there's been solutions like Poken kind of outsource that functionality to beacons or little USB keys that you poke together and by that you exchange contact information, but they've never reached mass adoption. I've never seen them anywhere. So this is a perfect solution. It just blew my mind that no one has come up with that before. So what you do if you want to do that yourself is you go to contactcover.com, which I think is his project and a friend's project. You just put this together in a few hours. You go there and you enter your contact information. It looks like this. So you fill out the form and then it generates a QR code for you and you save that QR code to your phone and then you just use that as a lock screen. Of course, you could also just save it as an image and then show people that image if you don't want it to be visible all times. But that's how simple it is. Contactcover.com, a hobby project by one of the founders of Eternity. It just blew my mind how simple it made something that seemed so confusing and complicated before. So that's it. That's what I want to show you today. I was blown away by this. I think a lot of you will get a lot of value from this. Head over to contactcover.com, download the QR code, put it on your lock screen. And from now on, whenever you need to exchange contact information with anyone, there's a much more simpler way. And with that, have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon. Oh, 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 o